everyone, my name's Nicole and I'll be taking over this week's kids extravaganza. In today's session we have a story time, an activity followed by some singing, dancing and some music. But before we start, let us pray. Dear God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for our family and friends and our health. Open our brains and our hearts to understand your word. May all the happy things we do make you, our Father, happy too. Amen. story time. Today's story is about prayer and you'll find our story in the Bible. In Luke chapter 11 verse 5 to 8. Are you sitting comfortably and quietly? Let's watch the story. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. During Jesus' time on earth, he prayed a lot. He knew that prayer would keep him close to God, his Father. Sometimes Jesus would pray with others, like when he asked Peter, James, and John to come with him to a mountain to pray. Other times, 
Jesus would leave his disciples and pray by himself so he would have time alone with his Father. When Jesus prayed, he prayed for all sorts of things. He prayed for his disciples, for those in need of healing, and for little children. Jesus even prayed for us and asked his Father to watch over us. That's right, Jesus prayed for you and for me. Through Jesus' prayers, we can learn how to pray too. Jesus used the Lord's Prayer to teach his disciples to pray. It wasn't long and fancy. He showed them that they could pray in a simple way about many different things. Our prayers can be the same way. Jesus also taught us that we should pray without giving up. God is always listening to what we say. The way he answers our prayers might be different from what we expect, but we can always trust his plan for us. So the next time you're happy or sad, or worried or angry, or just need help, talk to God about it. He listened to his son's prayers, and he'll listen to yours too. That was such a great story, wasn't it? Now, let us recap. Prayer is important, and the biggest reason is because Jesus prayed. Jesus showed us how prayer is supposed to work. It's meant to be a conversation between us and our loving Father. If you're feeling happy, sad, worried or angry, talk to God about it because he listened to his sons and he'll listen to yours. I'd love to see some of you guys' prayer hands. So when you finish, ask mummy or daddy to take a picture and ask them to send it to online at telfordelam.com. I've also got another challenge for you guys. There's a link below that shows you the Lord's Prayer. The Lord's Prayer says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So I just read to you the Lord's Prayer and I'm going to give you a little challenge. I would like you to remember the Lord's Prayer without looking at it. I would like you to remember this Lord's Prayer. Do you think you could do that? Yeah, well, well done if you can. But if you can't, have a go. Try and remember that prayer. I know you guys can do it. That was amazing recapping guys, well done. I don't know about you, but I feel like making something. Don't you? Yeah. So, in today's session, we're going to make some prayer hands. Prayer hands. Okay. These prayer hands link to our story, don't they? Yeah. To make one of these prayer hands, you will need a plain piece of paper, lined will be fine, or coloured paper, that is absolutely fine. A pencil or a pen, that's fine. Some scissors, but be careful of scissors. Remember to hold them properly. And then you will need some felt tip pens, colouring pencils, anything to decorate your prayer hands. 
I need you to go on a mission. You have 30 seconds to go around looking around your house or your room for the resources to make your prayer hand. Off you go. Kids extravaganza is almost over. Can I get an R? Sad, I know. But we've learned so much today, haven't we? Today we've learned how prayer is supposed to work and that we should pray when we're feeling happy, sad, angry, or even worried because God will listen to our prayers. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us time to come together and reflect over your word. Help us to keep on praying every day, even when I'm feeling happy, sad, worried or angry. You provide us with what we need and protect us. We pray that you'll guide us in all ways so that we will seek your will in everything that we do. Amen. Have a great week, kids. See you next week. Bye.